Hello, so this is a Bubble Basics video on selecting and editing things on Bubble. So we're going to go through a few ways of doing this, including database, states, the drop-down, and the multi-select drop-down. Let's start off with the database. So here underneath data, I've got orders and items. These are two kind of new types I've created. And the user type, underneath this, I've added a field type item called current item and a field type order current order and also a list of items and a list of order so just how to do this you would just click create a new field and select items or order and then if you want a list you would click this uh, the list icon here okay so we go over to the first way via the database. So here I've got a repeating group and what it does is searches for all items in the repeating group. Here I show the name of the item and I have a select button. If I click the select button, I want to then take this item and have this item be my current user's current item. And so in this group I show the current user's current item as the data source type item therefore and I also have an input here which shows the parent group's items name as a placeholder and initial content and when I click save it updates the item I have selected. So how this works is on the select button on the workflow of this I have make changes to current user and I have the current item which is what I created in the database earlier be the current sales item. And then here for the save button what I'm doing is I make changes to the parent group's item and the name is the input parent group's item's value. So quickly how this looks. I've got chocolate currently selected. Now I go over to minerals. I select it. It says minerals here. And now I update minerals to mineral and it'll update here and here. I can also do this via a state. via state what I would have is set state is the action element action set state and here I have uh, created a new state by clicking on custom state and the value is again the current sales item so in this group here I show the current users current item and in this group I show the state so I've made a state for the group item to do this I clicked on the I up here on the group and made a new state called item type item so it shows that so basically both of them work and have i can have a state or i can save it to the user for instance if i save it to the user it will remember it if i access the site tomorrow or in a week even whereas if it's a state it's just for this uh, session and if i'm staying on the same uh, page so again we have a quick look at it um, when I click select, it now says chocolate for both, of course, or mineral for both. And we can go one further, and instead of having just one current item I have selecting, I can have a list of items or orders. For example, here, I'm going to look at orders. Again, the setup is on the left. I have a repeating group of orders. Just searches for orders, shows their name. And when I click add, it adds it to the current user's list of orders, so to my list of orders. So to do this, I click the Add button, and when I click it, I make changes to the current user and to the current user's list of orders, which is a list I add to the current sales order. Similar for the Deselect button over here, I remove the current sales order from the current user's list of orders. And here, so unlike up here where I had one item, here was a group. Now here I have a repeating group which shows my list of orders. And then, for example, I can have a change button that if clicked changes all orders selected. For example, I can increase the price or always remove a particular item, maybe the one I've selected from before. So for all these list of orders are removing my current user's current item from this list. So if we go here, for example, we've currently cut the Easter order. I click deselect, now it's empty. 
I add the Christmas order, then I can add the Easter order, scroll down to it, and the milkshake, and here I could click change to make changes, and it'll make changes in the background. Okay, and the third method of uh, selecting here is the drop down. So instead of having a repeating group, which you have to scroll down through, you can just have one drop down. This drop down here, I've put it on dynamic choices. It searches all items and it displays a name. So if I select one thing, it shows this thing in the group because the group, I've set the data source of the group to drop down A's value. So we have that here. Here I see all the items. I select running shoes and see running shoes over here. And then I can edit it here. I can not only, of course, edit the name, but I can edit the price. I could ed edit anything in this group. Uh, saved. And one further is the multi select drop down. This is a plugin. To install plugins, you would go here to plugin and add plugin and search for multi select drop down. So it allows you to select multiple things and search for them. Here, as my choices style, I have dynamic choices. I search for all items and I display the name. And then here I display the current user's list of items. So all items in my list I display here. And now for the previous ones, we've had like a button which updates, but here in this multi select uh, multi drop down, there is no button. So I've had to add a workflow. I went on the empty box over here and selected elements if an input's value is changed. So here, if multi drop down A's value is changed, then I set a list. So not remove or add, but I make a new uh, kind of update, refresh my list to be whatever the multi drop down's value is. So let's see that in action. Here's the multi select drop down. I can select uh, what I want, may even be more than a few things. And here it updates into my current user's list of orders over here. If I click close, it updates also, only because of this workflow I've added with multi drop downs, ace values change. So this video basically showed us how to select and edit a few things uh, using the database. So when we click select, it added to the current user's current order or item, or the list of orders we've got here, or we've got the drop down and the multi select drop down to also select and then later edit uh, things such as the name. Hope this helped. For more short tips on Bubble, check our website at tiplister.com, link below. Cheers.